Hey, in this video, I'm going to talk to you all about the neighborhood of Lowry, just east of downtown Denver in Colorado. So stay tuned. Here in the Lowry neighborhood with Adam Browse. He is going to be our liaison for the day. Uh, he is a, a resident of the area and also the publisher of the Lowry Aviator magazine that goes out to the neighborhood each month. Every month, yeah. Every month. So check that out when you move here. Uh, but Adam, give us an idea. So we're in Lowry. What's what's around us? So these guys can get an idea of the, the geography of where we're at on the map. Yeah, absolutely, Sean. So right now we're standing in front of the iconic B-52 bomber at the Wings Over the Rockies Air and Space Museum. And this is really the central heart of Lowry. Um, right behind us, you're looking at Hangar 2. And inside of Hangar 2, we have a bunch of different retail shops as well as the beloved Lowry Beer Garden, which is kind of the local hang for everybody in the community. And like I said, geographically, this is really the, the dead center and the heart of Lowry. Um, but those are some of the, the really big iconic things that you would see if you come from the outside. Um, when you live in the neighborhood, you'd probably recognize that the Lowry Town Center has a bunch of historic shops also on the other side of this airplane hangar. Um, but what's really interesting about this community is that 25 years ago, it used to be an Air Force base um, and I actually housed the Air Force Academy here. So um, it's a really cool historic site as well as just a fun place to live. Yeah, so the, the thing about the, the, the houses around here too, so even though the, the base has been here for a while, the neighborhood is, is and all the homes are really you know, not more than 20 years old. The kind of people that typically move into Lowry, uh, it's really kind of a heterogeneous demographic. It's, uh -huh. it's all over the place, but one thing that draws a lot of people here are the schools and the education. There's, I think I've lost count, maybe 11 or 12 different schools really? that are here located within Lowry or around Lowry, uh -huh. um, between public schools, private schools, the international school, the Denver language school, Primrose, there's a ton of education happening here. So it is a great place to raise a young family. Mm -hmm. um, and what's really interesting is that 25 years ago when the Lowry Redevelopment Authority started to really plan this, uh, this community out, they split it up pretty evenly between residential homes, public parks, retail, and government buildings. Okay. So as many homes as you see here, that's as much space as we have in, in square footage in terms of public parks. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's tons of green space in Lowry that you can go have your kids like play and hang out in. You can ride your bikes around the neighborhood um, and everything is really walkable. So typically what we see are younger active families um, who really like to live in a nice neighborhood where it's tight knit and it's super social. Mm -hmm but um, also has that cool history piece to it that yeah. nowhere else in Colorado has. Yeah, everything's you know relatively newer too, so it just looks like a really clean neighborhood. And you could tell whoever did, was the, the master planner, they did a great job. So let's talk about the houses in Lowry. So like I mentioned, there's a little bit of everything in Lowry. You do have condos, townhomes, and single family detached homes. Uh, most of the neighborhood was built after 1994, so most of it's going to be newer. Prices for condos are going to be like 150,000. You're going to get something that's under a thousand square feet, and then uh, the average though is going to be probably around 350,000 for a, a condo. And then once you get into the single-family detached homes, well, they just wide range on there. The average is around $600,000 for those. Median price is around 580,000, but I mean, it just varies so much. You'll have some that are 2,200 square feet, kind of on the low end, all the way up to 5,000 square feet, and those are going to be, you know, some of them are going to be a million dollars plus. Rocket Ice Cream is actually um, owned by the same partnership team as the Lowry Beer Garden and North County and Officers Club. Mm -hmm. They are the summer hotspot. If you're in Lowry and it's warm out, you'll see a huge line around Rocket Ice Cream. Um, they've got amazing flavors and what I love is that you could go and have a beer and a meal with your family, yeah. um, but the kids can go and sit outside on the patio and have ice cream. How far are we from Denver? How far are we from the airport? Uh, from the airport, we're really only about a 15 minute drive. It's not that far at all. Um, I routinely, when I have visitors come into Lowry, we'll bring them to North County or we'll stop here before we take them out to the airport because it tends to be just like a really good stopping point. It's, it's really the first big um, 
kind of commercial aerial that you'll find before you hit downtown Denver. But if you take 6th Avenue uh, or 8th right into Denver, it's only a few miles. So, I mean, you can see this, it's the city skyline if you get high enough from here. And it's probably about a five to 10 minute trip um, to get to the Capitol building. Mm -hmm. And what's nice is that you're also right next to all of the highways. So you can get onto Route 70 pretty quickly. You can get onto 225 pretty quickly. And all of the main uh, fairways and, and, and throughways that go through the city link right through Lowry. Nice. What's, uh, as far as neighborhoods north, south, east, west of here? Just east of here, um, we're actually bordering right on the edge of Aurora and where the Denver Film School is and the Aurora Community College. So um, that's on the other side of Havana where you might see a bunch of car dealerships. That's kind of the east border of Lowry. Thank you. Uh, on the north side, we're butting up against Stapleton. So a lot of new development there, um, tons of homes, really, really densely packed, but awesome community there. Um, and that used to be the airport, where this used to be the Air Force Base. So they obviously moved everything a little further over out to DIA. Just south of the community past Alameda, you're actually, most of that territory right there is uh, the Fairmount Cemetery. So that is um, just, it's a phenomenal place. Um, the the captain who Lowry is named after is actually buried at that cemetery. Really? And they also host a lot of community events. So not only is it just a cemetery and a great place for Denver locals and natives and people who have been here for many generations to bury their friends and loved ones, but it's also a great event center. They host the car show there every year. Um, they host a ton of concerts, all kinds of different fun things over at the Fairmount Cemetery. So that's what's just south of Lowry. Um, just west of here is going to be the Hilltop neighborhood, um, which is also a fantastic neighborhood and a uh, really tiny pocket inside of there is Crestmore Park. Um, but most, most recently, the big development over in Lowry is actually the sunsetting of the Lowry Redevelopment Authority, the end of their 25 year plan, which is uh, culminating with the development of Boulevard One. So yeah. Boulevard One has been uh, a really big and huge, cool new addition to Lowry. There's a bunch of uh, very modern townhomes, but real estate in Boulevard One is really hot right now. I think you do get a little bit of uh, every type of housing too, because I saw you guys, you know, there's row houses, there's townhouses, there's single family yes. detached homes, there's condos. And so, uh, I mean, some of them were as low as 150,000. Those mm -hmm. ones go super quick. Um, and then you have million dollar homes as well in the neighborhood. So you could literally stay your whole life, your whole career as you evolve uh, professionally in Lowry. And that was a very intentional move by the Lowry Redevelopment Authority. They wanted this space, this neighborhood, to be a place that anybody from any background, any culture, um, any economic or social class could, could come into and live happily and, and work together and get to know each other. And if you come to Lowry, you have to meet Dr. Julie, my friend, oh, have, my right. friend from Ascent Holistic Health. I Good love Adam. He's a great resource for us. It's he fun is. to be part of this because yeah. it really makes it fun. Yeah. Right. He's created a great community for us here in Lowry. Well, the community has been here. We just help tell the stories and bring together. people together. That's true. That's yes. true. Yes. Um, and Dr. Julie owns uh, Ascent Holistic Health right over here in Hangar 2 in the center of Lowry. Um, I go and see her as a patient and couldn't recommend anybody else to uh, trust her health with. So, what types of things do you do? Um, we do chiropractic, acupuncture, functional medicine, oh. and uh, we just added IV therapy and stem cell. Whoa! I know it's exciting. Dang. It's a really friendly community, man. I mean, everybody here seems to get to know each other pretty quickly. Um, whether it's out at the Lowry Beer Garden or here in one of the the small businesses that are in the town center, um, there's there's just an endless amount of cool people. And yeah. as the publisher of the Aviator, I get to go and uncover those stories and then share them with everybody, which is just, I mean, it's a blessing that we have such a cool community and such such amazing people here. The Lowry Aviator is a exclusive social lifestyle magazine that's just for the residents here that live in Lowry. And what's unique about the magazine is that all the residents actually write and submit all of our content. So the photos that we have in the magazine, the stories that we tell, the recipes, the pets, everything that you see in the Lowry Aviator actually comes from people who live here in the community. What you can see here is these two buildings are actually historic um, Air Force buildings and they were used as the Air Force Academy originally. So these were like the first classrooms and school rooms that cadets would go into to learn 
you know, what they would learn on the Air Force yeah. Base. Um, and then the hangar right over here that you can see behind you is obviously where they would store some of the planes. Um, Big Bear Ice Arena, which is just behind that, used to be the black hangar, and that was where they kept all the munitions. Oh, okay. So missiles, ammunition, guns, Tanks. all kinds of things. Tanks, yeah. Yeah, awesome history in this neighborhood. Yeah, it's cool, and you can see like the Lowry Star, the aviation star, pretty much everywhere. Um, obviously, it's on this historic building. Is there any? So yeah, right here are actually the Officers Row townhomes. Oh, cool. So these are a few of them, and you can see they're all beautifully renovated. They've all been redone. Um, but this is where officers in, in the Air Force would come and, you know, live. Right here, uh, you kind of have a, a good multi-view of both the Lowry Town Center, which is where most of our local retail, uh, a lot of our restaurants, uh, a lot of just the local fare and services are. And then to our right here, you see the historic Eisenhower Chapel. And it's called the Eisenhower Chapel because President Eisenhower used to come here um, during war and basically live out in Lowry for the summer um, while conducting different military operations. Um, but it was a nice place as like a summer getaway to be by some water, have some green space, and then obviously worship at the chapel, uh, which has become a historic monument and is a great gathering place for us here in Lowry. Some of these businesses right here have been here for years and years, um, like Lowry Printing and Shipping, like I mentioned, one of the staples here in the community. And then um, Rodney here at Frame by Frame, this would be actually probably a pretty cool place to pop your head into. Awesome. Yeah. And I was like, you gotta come in and at least check out Frame by Frame because yeah. if people haven't been here before, not only is it the frame shop in Denver, but it also has really cool exhibits. Uh, what do you have up right now? Is there anything? So I have the, the guy right over here, the photographer, Rodney. Basically an art exhibit exists in our frame shop, you know, or that yeah. you can come to a business that's been here for 15 years, that's locally owned and that everybody loves. And if you do live in the community, you know, this is, this is the place to go. Mm -hmm. The town center has the same sort of feel as a small town. People that live here um, like the stars that are here and they want to support you. Yeah, yeah. truly. Yeah, they yeah. do. So yeah. yeah, since we opened on the 9th, people really have like come running back. Truly, people have been awesome. I literally have had people you know, stopping in or calling to see if I was okay. Um, you know, they were buying gift certificates or something because they knew for themselves even, because they knew they had something to frame in the future and yeah. just wanted to be supportive. Yep. Yeah, so it was, yeah, it was awesome. I was really, truly people. Was, and I've even had some that I knew were coming in just because they wanted to be supportive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's what it's about. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it, Rod. Lowry is great. I mean, it's got a little bit of everyone, a little bit of something for everyone. And uh, like Adam told you, just, just great neighborhood community feel. I, I learned a lot about Lowry today and I freaking like it. Thank you guys for coming out to learn about Lowry today. These guys are shooting videos just about all the time about different Denver neighborhoods and you can learn quite a bit more about them. So follow, subscribe, ring the little bell here so you can stay up to date on new videos coming out. Knowledge is power. I hope you guys enjoy it.